New this morning, we've all heard the warnings, wash your makeup brushes because they could have bacteria. But that is not the only way that makeup can affect your health. KCTV 5's Natalie Davis is speaking to doctors about the severe implications that some of your makeup products can have. Oh, that is my color. Jesse Dang has always loved makeup, perhaps at times a little too much. I would keep them forever. I would, they'll be in a box or in a drawer, or my sister would be like, Jesse, how long have you had this? Now that she's a professional makeup artist, she knows how important it is to just let that old makeup go. It's just gross. Compare it to a new product, you'll see the color difference, you'll smell different, it'll even feel different. The makeup won't work as well and it can have nasty effects on your skin. Dr. Daniel Aries, dermatologist for the University of Kansas Health System, sees it all the time. And they can have acne looking lesions, they can have little pustules, they can have little abscesses even. Here's what doctors recommend. Replace makeup every six months to a year max, unless it's mascara. Toss that after three months. So what about your makeup brushes? I tested some of mine to see if I was keeping them clean enough. Nope. They are a breeding ground for bacteria. Just take a look at what came off of my blush brush. Jesse recommends using a makeup brush cleaner or gentle face wash on your brushes. Doctors say you should do this at least once a month. But preventing health problems isn't just about keeping your makeup and brushes free of bacteria. Dr. Aries says it's also important to know what's in the makeup you're putting on your face. Are you allergic to it? Is there something dangerous in it? Recently, uh, four years ago, the FDA looked into lipsticks and found every single one they tested had detectable levels of lead and there is really no safe level of lead ingestion. He also warns about certain mineral-based makeup, those dry, powdery products. Those can have silicates in them. In people who've had higher level exposures to this, industrial exposures, they have found increased rates of dementia, they found increased rates of all kinds of bad things. You can feel good about your makeup, just research to make sure the products are safe. And as for that old bacteria-ridden lip gloss or eyeshadow palette you can't seem to get rid of? Let it go. <laughs> just let it go. It will save you so much more in the future. Natalie Davis, KCTV 5 News.